Hello everyone and welcome to the Hippie Geeks. At some point in the past, someone broke off the fuel door on our classic Saab 900 hatchback. I originally thought that fixing it would be super easy and cheap, unfortunately I was sadly mistaken. On these cars, the fuel door is connected to this strange looking part called a fuel filler neck. It holds the fuel door in place, it is where you pump the gas into your car, and it is a manifold for the overflow and fuel return line. It has a lot going on for such a small part, which is why they want to charge you over $100 to get a new one. We happen to have gotten lucky last week, however, and picked up a free donor car that is the exact same year as Willie Nelson, our 1991 Saab 900 Turbo Hatchback. This job can be completed fairly quickly, and it will only take a couple of tools that just about everyone will have. The first thing to do is open up your hatch if you have a hatchback, or trunk if you are in a convertible. The process is very similar for both. We are going to be removing the plywood cover to get to the plastic shroud that protects the fuel filler hoses. If you look, there are two T15 Torx screws that are holding it down. We are going to be removing them both. If you do not have a set of Torx drivers, you are going to want to pick up a set. Saab used them everywhere. Once you have them removed, set them aside somewhere you won't lose them. Once those are out, unlatch the cover and pull the whole assembly towards you. There are a pair of tabs along the back that hold it in place, and they need to be disengaged before you can pull it out. After it moves towards you, fold it up, pull it carefully out of the way, and set it aside. Once that is out of there, we need to pull back some of the carpeting along the side that hides the plastic shroud. There are a few plastic clips that have plain screwdriver heads. Those need to be turned 90 degrees before they can be pulled out. There are also three on the bottom of the carpet that have a blank head and just need to be popped out gently with a screwdriver or knife. Once those are all out, carefully pull the carpet out from behind the various pieces they have it tucked into. Just be careful and gently pull it out, then push it out of the way so that you can easily get to the plastic shield. Now that the shield is exposed, it's time to get it removed. There are three T15 Torx screws holding it in place. Go ahead and remove them, and then pull the shield out and set them all aside. Now we can see the back of the filler neck and all of the hoses that are connected to it. Go ahead and unscrew all of the screw clamps, and compress the spring clamps and start removing hoses from the fuel filler. To remove the largest hose, which connects to the fuel filler tube, it may be easier to also remove the clamps on the other side of the fuel filler tube, and just pull the whole assembly out. There will be a total of five hoses, the large main adapter, two smaller hoses coming off in the same direction, one smaller hose coming off the top in the other direction, and finally a vent tube coming up from below. After you have all of the hoses off, it's time to get outside the car so that we can finally remove this thing. As this is our donor car, I'm going to remove the existing fuel door before continuing. It is held on by two small screws, I just used my Leatherman to loosen them and get them out of there. Once that is off, there are four T15 Torx screws around the ring that also need to be removed. Once those are out, gently pry the lip away from the car body. It has a thin layer of adhesive behind it, but it pulls away pretty easily. Now it is just a matter of getting it out of the hole. It doesn't come out easily, but if you just tilt the top towards you, there is a small nub at the top that can be squeezed down through the hole and it will pop through. Once that part is out, the rest of it will come out very easily. As boring as it sounds, installing a new one back into the car is the reverse of what we just went through. It goes back together pretty easily, and our hatchback now has a fully functional fuel door, which makes Lindsay very happy. If this is your first time here on the Hippie Geeks, it would be wonderful to have you subscribe. This channel is all about creating a magical life one day at a time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next one.